What's up guys, so here's the update on the Para Hibana slings. Now a lot of them have already pretty much molted out. You can see there's a molt right there. And well, look at them. They're like super bolty now. They're running around. There's still these yellow ones around, so gotta wait for them to turn blackish on the abdomen and then they'll start to molt out. Now the thing is, right, not a hundred percent survival rate as well, because as you can see. We do have some dead ones with a little bit of mold. So, yeah. Just gotta like get them out to clean them off. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, it's still not a 100% survival rate after like putting them into a brand new incubation chamber. Oh man, look at all the molds. That's crazy. Hey, get off, get off. There we go. Check that out, you guys. All of the molds. Is there one right there? Oh my gosh. Why are you guys doing this to me? Focus, phone. Focus. Dang it. But yeah, what's up with... Man, you guys are really... There we go. Finally, that, that yellow one came off. So there, look at that. All of the molds are in like a single clump. Pretty interesting. Like I said, you guys, this is my first time ever incubating little baby tarantulas. So don't judge me, okay? So I guess that is pretty much it for the moldy ones. But yeah, that is unfortunately the only left slings that we have. Because a lot of them, as you guys saw, they died for some reason. Some odd, 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 odd reason. Oh yeah, by the way, yesterday I picked up two brand new tarantulas. This is the Caribena Lighter. Unsex, both are unsex. No idea what like what genders they are. But yeah, there's the Caribena Lighter, the Puerto Rican Pinto, if I'm not mistaken. So and then the next one over here is a Harpactera namakensis, which is somewhere down there. So the guy gave me both of them in these enclosures. Now I do have a female Harpactera namakensis like right over here. And she's, she is, you can see she's right over there. Yep, she is, I would say sub-adult. So this one, if it is a male, in fact, since it's unsexed, right? We can pair him in the future with that girl. Now this guy, he is only about, I would say two and a half, three inches. Yeah, so she hopefully will will molt out and mature out before this guy, if this one's a guy. If it's a female, I'm not complaining because then we can have two females that's gonna live like a long time, right? But if it's a male, I'm not gonna be too down as well because then we can attempt to breed them. Okay, so aside from these LP slings, I'm pretty sure you guys also want to see an update on the Sesimai slings. So, not one death, you guys. Like I mentioned before, not a single death. Let me... Let me try to get this. Oh man, it's stuck. It is stuck. Let me, okay. So as you can see, the sesame slings, a lot of them are also with the black butt. So I am guessing, look at this one. Yeah, the whole body is dark. So yeah, I'm guessing that they are not guessing, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is my second time. Yeah, apart from the LP slings, which is my first time. So these ones are about to molt, which is very, very exciting. Can't wait for these sesame slings to be little baby individual independent slings. Then we can start to feed them and that'll be awesome. So that is one and this is the other container. Oh yeah, by the way, I have these two uh, wooden with acrylic door enclosures. Comment down below what I can house in here. Not sure because for tarantula substrate it won't be too deep. I don't know. Comment down below what you think I can house in these two enclosures. Okay, so here's the other Sesimai container. I'm not going to be opening it because this one's a little bit more difficult to open. But same story. They have pretty much, yeah, almost going to molt. <laughs> Get that one on the on the wall. And then we also still have the ones with the yellow body, the full yellow body. But pretty much most of them are about to molt, which is freaking awesome. Cannot wait. For that but yeah guys let me know in the comments below what i can house in these two enclosures haven't got single clue scorpions i don't know and again yeah i don't know comment down below 
So hey guys, that'll be it for this video. Just wanted to update you guys mainly on the LP slings because yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are thinking, hmm, any more deaths? Well, technically, well, yeah, I mean, there are a few, unfortunately. No idea why. It's just so weird, but thankfully, wasn't a hundred percent death. Cause that would be very, very not good. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys take care, stay safe. Have a good one and yeah, peace. Look at all the, the unfortunate dead ones. So sad. We could have potentially had maybe over a thousand babies.